Example 3C continues with this approach of hybrid picking and also using the pick for a lower voice. So let's look at the lick. Now the great thing about these licks is if you haven't noticed, rhythmically, Danny Gatton does some nice things where it's not so symmetrical, and this is another example of that. So you're just moving around, starting off with the A5 up on top, the root and the fifth, then you go over that same thing we've talked about before. And on the picking scheme on that, I would suggest doing it both ways, where you have the two A's in a row go down, up, but also practice it with the up, down. And that'll get you really to where you can play it either way. Again, a balanced technique is better than a lopsided technique. That's in essence what this lick is all about, but if you wanted to move it to another... See how you could move around and find other things to play with the middle and ring fingers, other doppel double stops. See, I just found some other things that I know exist when I'm playing over an A7 chord. I encourage you to take any of these licks. Don't just take them at face value, but then modify them. Move some of the things around. You could even and change that lower note that you're playing with a pick and go someplace else.